Most landslides move slowly, providing ample time to perform mitigation work without disrupting traffic. But when a slide quickly and unexpectedly severs the busiest two-lane highway in the state, a rapid response is critical. Within hours of the slope failure, plans were being developed for a short-term solution to restore traffic on the route. We brought all the right people from geology to engineering uh, and environmental services, along with our partners with the Forest Service and our uh, emergency contractor. And uh, really within a couple of days, we had a design done and already in progress being constructed. In an emergency, YDOT uses an accelerated contracting process to get competitive bids focused on both cost and timeliness. Evans Construction from Jackson won the contract and now has crews working around the clock, moving upwards of 30,000 yards of material to build a temporary detour. The contractor has done an awesome job responding. They've also done an awesome job of collaborating with us and to try to make sure we can get a, a safe road. It's amazing what work they've done and what they've brought to bear on this project. The bypass will be placed uphill of the slide, but the tighter curve on a steep 11% grade does not meet design standards for a permanent fix. Plans are in the works for a reconstruction of the road. Our plan is starting to take shape. There's still a lot of moving parts in that plan, but what we want to do is get traffic back on the original alignment, rebuilding a road there, so it's a lot safer, a lot uh, better for grades and everything else. But really, that's going to take a few months. We want to get it done before the snow flies. Reminding you to slow down in work zones and always buckle up. This is Doug McGee reporting.